Hi, this is Jennifer with her beautiful artwork. Uh, it's just entitled Elephant, and then these ones are entitled Female and uh, Male uh, Abstract. And with the Female and Male Abstract, um, did you look at heat senses or like certain parts of the body that have certain more sensitive points as far as your inspiration behind it? Uh, no, I kind of just changed the color value. So anywhere where it's yellow is where like the light would have been shining on the body and then and for the dark would be going from the reds to the navy blues. Uh, I do a lot of black and white artwork so I decided for something a little out of the norm for me. <laughs> oh well, very beautiful. You captured emotions and everything really well. What was the turning point that inspired you to become an artist? Um, I would say I've been drawing and, and kind of just got into painting the last five years, but as far as a turning point, I think it would be probably high school where I got a little bit of validation for a talent when uh, my art teacher in high school had decided to put my piece of sti a still life sketch up in the library at school. And it was almost a like supportive and a little, not ego boosting, but give you a little bit more self-confidence and a little bit of justification that yes, you are good at this, keep going. And just my mom's advice and watching her the whole time with her painting. She's been painting for God knows how long. But uh, it's nice to see that it's been passed down from generation to generation, the, the talent for art. Well, that's beautiful to be town on all levels. Uh, what would you recommend as advice to young kids that want to get started in in artwork? Uh, keep keep with it and find out what your 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 opening is. If uh, you have certain things that maybe inspire you more than others, for mine it's emotion. Any emotional feelings I may be going through, I'll, I'll tend to do a little bit better. I kind of pour it all out onto my canvas. So. Find out what your outlet is. Find out what uh, inspires you and what makes you better at what you do. Excellent advice from Jennifer. And this is Skylar McLeod. Hello. <laughs> Not to be confused with Skylar Gray, but a lot of her inspiration has come from hip hop. As we can see, she had the a female throwing up the LA gang sign, badass. <laughs> yeah, I like to portray my or my artwork into music for like the streets, music, um, everything like more, give it like more of a raw feeling and everything as to portraying it for something. I don't like to just take a photo and put it on paper. I want to make it something that's different so it captures people and make them kind of think about the drawing and everything and not just have it look at it. Very iconic. Uh, what started you into this? Was it music or movies that you watched? or? It's a lot to do with music. I, I listen to a lot of rap and hip hop and everything and really wanted to like create my own style as to like not just doing graffiti but like taking portraits and making it look, taking it into like that street kind of thing like the gang life, everything like that. I like, it, it, it interests me and everything so I want to keep trying to put it on paper to show to people. You also are a tattoo artist. Uh, do you draw most of your sketches for your clients? I do, yeah, I draw. It's all a custom shop. I work at Human Canvas, so it's all custom and everything. We draw everything together. Um, I'm doing specializing in portraits, and then there's other artists there that do everything else. Um, but yeah, I like to do the portraits and everything, and people still like this kind of stuff. They want it tattooed on them and everything. Yeah. All right, well, I'm signing off with Skylar McLeod. Take care. <laughs> Hi, this is Stephanie, and she is presenting her beautiful abstracts right here. Yes, I am. <laughs> color. Uh, what inspired you with these colors? Do you dream more vividly than these colors? Um, I think I just love seeing these colors. Uh, spring is coming up soon, and uh, my favorite thing is actually going for hikes and seeing the light come through the trees. and. Um, this piece was specifically uh, made for Our Homes magazine and they wanted a spring theme painting and most of my trees are all fall or winter so I did a fresh piece for them. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. What would be your words of advice to young kids that want to get into doing their artwork? Just always draw, always paint, be outdoors in nature, take as many classes as you can. Um, and just do it if you love it. <laughs> okay, tell me a little more about your abstract painting. 
Well, I think my abstract paintings really tie into my mathematics background. Um, I'll, all my abstracts are very linear. Um, they do have a loose kind of flow to them, but you'll see distinct lines in all of my abstract pieces. And I think, you know, despite being an artist, I am very uh, linear and I like things ordered and I, I do have that math side as well. So I think that's where it comes out in my abstract pieces. Wow, it's amazing how creative expression comes from personality. Totally, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think a, a huge inspiration as far as to my artwork is my twin sister is also an artist. Um, and just being able to create, um, sometimes I can't express myself in words as much as I'd like to, and I think through my art, I'm, I'm capable of doing that, so. Wow, what a gift. <laughs> and we're signing off right now with Stephanie, gifted, beautiful artist. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, this is Erin from the Veil series, as you see here. What was your inspiration behind this artwork? Well, I had the veils from a previous series, and with this series, I wanted to explore the graphical qualities of the veils and sort of play with the idea of the veil concealing, whereas in this case, it's not really concealing a great deal. What does black veils symbolize in, in these paintings? Well, again, it's primarily the graphical quality in this case, so there's not a lot of symbolism. But I'm also inspired by German Expressionism, so sort of bringing that Expressionistic quality into the work. So I thought the black works well and it allows me to play more with light and shadow. Oh, well, what inspired you or what was the turning point in your life that inspired you to do this type of photography? Well, I've always been involved in photography, but I've also been doing a lot of computer programming and very solitary type work. So with my photography, I wanted to actually interact with other people and artists. So both of these people are performers and dancers, so I like being able to work with them and having their qualities and their ideas in the project. Wow, so ballet maybe? Wow, you know, there's a lot of grace behind that. We appreciate it.